Hey everyone, Jabman here, bringing you another commentary today. Today I'm playing on Turbine, playing Kill Confirmed. Um, before I even get into this or anything, I want to take a second and uh, say a prayer for the families in Connecticut today that lost their loved ones and their children. It was a horrible, horrible thing that happened today. At least 18 children dead and 8 adults confirmed. Um, this stuff is getting ridiculous, man. This world is getting just horrible. But anyways, before we even do anything and I even get into this commentary and I talk about what I want to talk about, um, I'm going to talk about what's on my mind, actually. I'm not even going to probably talk anything about this commentary. I'm probably going to talk a lot about, you know, what I felt and everything whenever I heard this happened because my friend Rodney told me. <clears throat> and uh, anyways, before I do that, let's uh, let's say a little prayer. Uh, dear Lord, um, we praise you and we thank you for everything you do, Lord God. We know it wasn't in your plan today for those people to die. It's the it's the sin of this world. It's Satan, like a hundred percent Satan. And we know things, you know. We know we know he's here, and we know he has power over people. It's just just a shame. We uh, I pray for the lives of the of the families that were hurt today, Lord God. I pray for the family of the guy who actually did it and committed the murder, Lord Jesus. Um, I just ask you, Lord God, to be with those families and be with, you know, with all the people that were hurt today and just be with the people that experienced it too, even if they, even if they lived through it, because that's going to be horrible for them to go through. But Lord Jesus, I just, I ask you to just keep everyone safe and just let them be okay. In your holy and precious name, I pray, Lord God. Amen. All right, guys. Um, yeah, I was playing Kill Confirmed here. I, uh. I was, uh, yeah, we, we, I played this, I played this game, we played this last night, I know I said I was going to start doing some different, uh, different things like this, and domination, I have one more team deathmatch, one that I want to put up today, that I'm going to bring you guys, I think I went like 29 and something, on this one I ended up going 24 and 10, which it wasn't too bad, and it was pretty good for kill confirmed, <clears throat> um, anyways, uh, what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is, uh, I was talking to my friend Rodney this morning whenever I heard about the news that happened in Connecticut. Um, he texted me and he's like, he goes, he goes, he goes, twenty-seven uh, kids dead, and I'm like, I'm like, what? Because we were we were just talking about Modern Warfare. I didn't know what was going. Or we were talking about Call of Duty. I didn't know what was going on at this time. And I'm like, you killed twenty-seven. I said, oh, there's kids playing. I said, I thought they were in school. He's like, no, it really happened. I'm like, what? He goes, yeah, it's all over the news. I'm like, holy crap! So I turned off the, uh, so I turned off my PlayStation and I turned straight onto the news, and sure enough, they confirmed that 18 children were killed and eight adults. And apparently, this guy had just, um, had just targeted one room, apparently, and I guess he just killed the whole entire room. And they said he went in there with like, either double Glocks or something like that and just started shooting. I don't know what possesses people to do this. I mean, I do. I know it's Satan, but here's the thing: people are. And here's the thing: some people are going to be like, "Oh, well, you know, it's a tragedy and everything." Yeah, but he was sick. He was sick in the head. No, he wasn't sick in the head. Yes, he was sick in the head, but it's a choice you make. You make that choice. Oh, he probably got bullied. He probably got bullied. Yes, you know what? I understand the bullying thing because I think that's ridiculous. People going around bullying people. I think that is ridiculous. But here's the thing. For that person, for those people bullying you, you can't take it out on everybody else. The parents nowadays, they have to, you have to bring your kids up. You have to teach them right from wrong. Plain and simple. You need to teach them right from wrong. I know a lot of people, uh, you know, experience depression and everything like that. But it doesn't mean you go on a shooting spree and you kill kids, man. I mean, kids. I mean, geez, nevertheless, you, 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 killed, you killed kids. It, children at that. They were kindergartners. But still, no kid should get killed. Nobody should go in a classroom and shoot up a whole entire classroom. That is just plain stupid and idiotic. It just it just irks me, man, and it makes me sick to my stomach to even hear about this, man. I started crying. It it hurt. It, it touched me so bad I started crying. I thought it was utterly ridiculous. I got done. I'm sitting here looking at my children. You know, I'm I'm sitting here looking at my children, thanking God that it wasn't my children that were in that classroom at the time. That's all I can do. Because if my children were in that classroom at the time, I don't know what I would have done. I would have freaked. I have four boys. And I have a kid that's in first grade. I have a child that's in 
he's in third grade, and I have two other boys. I have a one and a half year old, and I have a four year old. My four year old, he goes to a speech class because they think that uh, he actually think he might have like ADHD or he might have a uh, a uh, a little bit of autism. We're not sure yet. We have to go get him tested. But that's besides the point. You don't go into a school and start shooting up children. I can only imagine what the parents feel like about this, man. I mean, my heart, you know, I mean, my heart goes out to them. I, like I said, I started crying. I couldn't hold it in. I was like, oh, my gosh. At first, I was just, like, in shock. And I was like, holy crap. This is ridiculous. But this is happening more and more often. You, you don't even feel safe. People don't even feel safe anymore nowadays, even going to the movies because this stuff is happening. I mean, geez, remember in the old days? I mean, I'll be 30 in January, and the people that are my age group, I know you guys remember whenever, you know, you could just go to school, and school was safe, and movies were safe and everything. Nowadays, nothing is safe because Satan is so, so into this world. It's not even funny. And, yes, I am a Christian for, you know, those of you who are wondering if I'm a Christian or not. Yes, I do believe in Jesus. I believe that he is my Lord and Savior. Yes, I do believe all that. I'm not going to push my, I'm not one of those people who tries to push my Christianity onto people, but if they ask me about my Christianity and ask me what I think, then I will tell them what I think and how I feel and about it. <clears throat> but I'm not one of those people that's going to just push it on people. But anyways, back to the point at hand, me and my friend Ryan were talking and we're like, hey, you know, he's like, hey, you remember when it was safe where you, you felt fine whenever you could go to the movies and everything and everything was safe and you could go to school and school was safe? Nowadays, you can't, you can't feel safe anywhere you go. It's ridiculous. It's utterly ridiculous, man. It's so easy for someone to get a hold of a handgun. I'm not saying take away our gun rights or anything like that. I'm not saying that. But it's so easy to get to, to get a hold of a gun or to you know to uh, to just to just shoot somebody. Everybody's so quick to just pick up a gun and shoot someone because they're mad at them. I remember in the days when you used to fight with your fists. You don't fight with a gun. You fight with your fists. You fight like a man. You know, I mean, people don't do that anymore. They're so quick to pick up a weapon and kill someone. And then there was a kid in in, in Japan that went into a school with a knife and stabbed like 30 people in Japan. I'm like, are you serious? I heard about this too. I'm like, this is ridiculous, man. People are so quick to just pick up a weapon and just kill somebody, man. It's just utterly ridiculous, man. I just, I just think it's, I just, I just think it's dumb. I don't, I don't understand it. I really don't. I don't get it. It's just, it's, 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 it's utterly ridiculous. So, anyways, guys, um, this is winding down. I ended up going 24 and 10. Uh, let me know how you liked the video. If you liked it, hit a like. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. But, yeah, guys, I mean, I just, you know, I'm still, I'm still in awe about what happened. And I will be bringing you another, uh, another one today, a team deathmatch. All right, guys, have a good one. Peace.